So we're doing muscle testing. Have you done that before? Have I shown you? No. No. So we're going to find which pendant is the best pendant for you. We have a whole series of ones here. So uh, I want you to grab... Well, first of all, let's do the proper muscle testing. You put your finger together, the pinky and the thumb. And then you put your thumb in the... with the, the strong one. And link them together. And then open it. Put some pressure and open it and see how much strength it needs to open up. A couple times. So get a base. Okay, so you call that a five or something. All right, so that's how much strength you need to pull out, how much force you need to pull. Open your fingers. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna put this. Let's say this is glute quartz, and we'll put it on your body somewhere right here, for example. Touch your skin. Okay. okay. And then do the same thing. Oops. It's in your pants? Is it in my pants? Take it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Put it in your belt or something in, in the belt. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. Usually you wear it on, 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 uh, on your neck, but then we don't have time to switch it back and forth. So do the same thing. <laughs> so is it easier or harder to pull off? Harder, right? Harder. Let's see, out of 10, how much harder is that? Uh, an 8. An 8. Okay, take it off. Put it down and do it again. Easier now, right? You're trying to keep it, yeah, but then it's not as strong as it was. Yeah. Okay. Now you're back to normal. Maybe like a six now, but yeah, okay. not. But not as strong not as, as it strong is. as that. Okay, so that's an eight. So now we test another pendant. Let's say we test uh, let's test pyrite. What I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing pyrite. So yeah. do the oh, same thing. Cool. That one's a seven. Seven, right? Okay. Take that down. So we'll rank this, right? Let's say we the eight, that's the highest, and then seven is here. Okay. And then let's take another one out. And uh, since you like the color pink, we'll try this one, little squirts. It's your favorite color. That one feels different. Got a seven. Seven, right? Okay, let's put that down too. What else we have here? Now this one. Highlight. Let's try that one. Which one's this? Highlight. one's pretty strong, huh? Yeah. Let's see what, what number would that be? <coughs> That's the strongest one, right? Uh, nine. nine. Whatever's over that, over that blue. Not by a ton, but interesting. Over that blue. Interesting. Okay, take this one. This is red jasper. So different ones align with different people? Yep. Pretty strong. Yeah, that's really strong. That's like what? What number would that be? It's uh, it's the strongest one. Uh, it's a, a ten. Put it on the top one. Well, yeah. Okay. And then, oh shit. Right. Try this one. I was, I was hoping the pink one would be stronger. <laughs>
This one not so strong. Like uh, put it at an eight with the blue one. Okay. Let's try this one. The Egyptian granite. Egyptian granite. Yeah. Would look really good on a countertop. Yeah. But the same as the last one. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Put that one halfway in between. This is lapis. Little lapis. Not that good, right? No. Okay. And then, let's try that silver one we just did. Silver. You look this way so people can see what you're doing with your fingers there. Just turn this way. Turn this way. <laughs> That's using a pinky, the weak one, right? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so what's the power rating of that? This one's up there with the red one. Pretty high, right? Okay, so. If you doubt yourself, retest it. Anything you're doubting? Well, I'm doubting, the, I'm doubting the whole thing. I'm like, how can a rock be making me... Well, if... if well, test it, right? Let, let's test the pink one again. The worst one. Let's test the worst one with the best one. Okay. I'm going to dry my hands off. i sweating. So you never tried this before? No. You, don't, you never, never tried this with these stones? No. Okay. I want to know how much harder I can punch with these. Okay, now you're using the pink, the rose quartz. Yeah. And it's weak, isn't it? I'm not weak. I'm a, I'm a strong guy. Comparatively. Comparatively. Okay, now try another one of the strong ones. Why? <laughs> oh, sorry. So is that harder or easier to pull off? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you probably still doubt. So, so let's try the other one that's weak for you. Now, why like, don't, why don't you just do a blind test? Okay, do a blind test. Let's okay. blindfold okay. it. Okay. Let's try this one. Like an eight. Eight. Everything's about an eight. <laughs> okay, this one. Yeah, this one's weaker. Weaker. Okay. What a number is that? Like almost. I think a little lower than a seven. Seven, six and a half or something. Here something like that. Let's yeah. Try this one. Stronger, right? So, 
That's more congruent from your first results. That's matching your first result. Yeah. So um, that's that's more matching your first result. Okay, the red jasper is the strongest one for you. Yeah, it was good. Okay. Yeah. What um, is it, what does that mean? Well, that stone makes you physically stronger. It connects your nervous system the best. So why why does it um, specifically connect to me? Why does that one? Well, you can measure the vibration of, of every stone. Every stone has a different vibration. So does that mean every human has a different vibration? Yes. All humans have different vibrations. Different chakras, right? So, for example, we have chakras, whether you believe it or not. And um, some of our chakras are weaker than others. Uh, I think the most power can, comes when you, all your chakras are balanced. The more balanced you are, like in Tai Chi, the concept is balance. You have to balance all the yin, balance all the yang. Mm -hmm. So when you have your chakras balanced, then the energy flows without, um, without uh, resistance. So when the energy flows without resistance, then you have the most power, physical power, and all in mind power too. So what these stones do is they enhance specific chakras in your body. So by, and some of them actually balance your chakras. So what you might find is possibly some of them are enhancing some of your weaker chakras, or some of them are balancing your chakras so that you will remove that resistance of, mm -hmm. of energy flow in your body. So they can, they can fluctuate. They can fluctuate. So sometimes you might need a different stone, sometimes you need a, another stone. But for now, right now, the ones that's best for you is the red jasper and the silver. I find silver you can use for anybody who wants more physical energy. Silver helps. Red jasper is good too. Yeah. Have you found out what particularly red jasper helps with? Um, red jasper, it's good for body energy. Yeah. It's, I think it's a grounding pendant too. So it helps you more, feel more centered. You yeah. can read this up online. There's a lot of. I, I think I will. I have it. terrible balance, so that probably explains a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so test it out. You don't even need these pendants. These pendants are frequency, frequency enhanced. You can just go to any um, metaphysical store, and check try different stones. But then the thing is, it has to be high quality stone. It has to be natural stone. There's a lot of people to make cheap ones. They will just crush stones and just glue them back together mm -hmm. not natural right so these are all natural cut from actual this is naturally occurring yeah they just cut from laser cut from actual large pieces of rock okay and then they're frequency treated with uh, harmonic vibrations pretty cool pretty cool okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna let you borrow that one there red jasper cool and then you can wear it for a week and tell me what's what happened. Then I can get in a fight with it. I recommend I'm just not. kidding. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you think? It's um, feedback. It's weird to think like it's frustrating when you're doing this, and it's I don't know if it's because I'm focusing on the stone or or what because I'm not a huge believer in chakras or anything like that. Um, so it's a little frustrating when you put a stone in your pocket and then it's harder to do it and you're like, uh, okay, this is weird. Yeah. So it, it's also very cool because I mean, I'm huge into sci-fi and if there's another world behind us, a veil that's covering up what actually goes behind us and the energies that transfer between us, I'm all for it. Okay. All right, cool. All right. Cool. To be continued.